bam okay guys so it's gym time and you guys know I love gym time because it's my meditation time I treat the gym like I'm going to the playground it's not a job for me at all it's what I love it's like your body is a reflection of your mind so I want to have a clean mind so I get a lot of like de-stress and detoxification time but what you guys don't realize is the electrolyte problem that a lot of people go through throughout the days. People just don't drink enough water. The question that I get all the time on keto is, what can I drink on keto? Because I can't drink alcohol and I can't drink caffeine. And I'm like, um, water? They're like, water, ew, that's so boring. And I'm like, well, it's really more important than you guys realize. It's a big problem in one's keto adaptation. The loss of water. So for every one gram of carbs that you eat, your body can hold up to 2.8, 3, and even 4 grams of water. And the kidneys drop a lot of water in the beginning. There's a lot of cellular water from carbohydrates. So with that water loss, you're losing sodium, potassium, magnesium, and the water itself. And this can create a whole host of problems. Constipation, chronic headaches, people are nauseous. It's a hot mess to be chronically low electrolytes, muscle cramps, heart palps, benign heart palps. You gotta drink some H2O and you have to drink your water at least 45 minutes before you even hit the gym. A lot of you guys are like running out the door with big jugs of water drinking and forgetting to drink while you're already into your workout. And on keto people, you get home, you don't even realize it because you're like, oh, I drink two gallons of water, which you're not supposed to do. And then you're like, why do I have such a bad headache? Well, you started drinking water too late beyond the measurable line when the body and the cells actually need it, the electrolytes in the water. So this is just a little quickie. Uh, if you guys wanna learn more, go to stephanieperson.com. This type of information I'm talking about in the Ultimate Keto Book. There's only one version of keto, and I'm trying to simplify this book so you guys can just get like A, B, C, not a bunch of convoluted, too much information in one book. And I really am trying to mind everybody's health issues from low T to histamine to people who've got nightshade issues, even this, this, this latex allergy. I know, allergic to latex, allergic to avocados, but I digress, everything matters, you guys. Keto is not that simple. If you want one more, go to stephanieperson.com and somebody's ringing my phone. And about to peace out because <laughs> it's awkward when the phone's ringing. Uh, stephanieperson.com and I'm also putting on a keto course. So you can also sign up for that on, uh, it's a membership keto course through my website, stephanieperson.com. <laughs>